Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to configure CCNP Encore Packet Tracer Activity OSPF V2 in single area. Friends, please subscribe, share and like our channel. Also, if you wish to get any technical support, you can contact our team. All the details given in the description below. Now, here we can see addressing table. In this activity, we will configure OSPF v2 routing. Then we will verify the configurations. So, here we can see three routers R1, R2, and R3. And total we can uh, see here six networks, three LANs, and three WANs. So in this activity, the IP addressing is already configured. You are responsible for configuring the three router topology with basic single area OSPF V2 and then verifying connectivity between end devices. Okay, all the devices are configured with the IP address. So here uh, we need to configure only OSPF. In part one, configure OSPF v2 routing configure ospf on the router uh, on the router r1 r2 and r3 use the following requirements to configure ospf routing on all three routers we can see that we have only uh, limited instructions uh, so we need to do only these uh, things see we can see process id 10 router id for each router they given for r1 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1. Then for R2, 2.2.2.2 and for R3, 3.3.3.3. The network address for each interface. Okay, uh, that network command we should configure. Then LAN interface set to passive. Do not use the default keyword. Okay, we can do it very easily. Uh, first of all, we will start from R1. enable configure terminal router ospf process id 10 router id 1.1.1.1 then we need to specify network command uh, to get the connected network we will give this a show command do show ip root connected so that we can see all the directly connected network. So now it is easy to give network command. Network. So we can see uh, this uh, first directly connected network. 172.16.1.0. Prefix is slash 24. So we can give wildcard mask 0 .0 0.0.255 area 0. Then the second directly connected network 172.16.3.0 we can see the prefix slash 30 so it's a 0 .0 0.0.0.3 area 0. Then third network 192.168.10.4 and uh, prefix given slash 30 so while the guard mask is 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.3 area 0 then uh, we can give uh, passive interface so we can verify or here itself we can see lan uh, interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and copy run space start next we will go to r2 enable configure terminal router ospf 10 we will set the router id as 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 .2. Then we will see the directly connected networks in this router R2. Do show IP root 
connected. So here we have uh, three directly connected networks. Now it is easy to give the network command network. So first one is 172.16.2.0. Then wildcard mask 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.255 area 0. So this is the LAN. Then next network 172.16.3.0. 0 0.0.0.3 area 0 then third one 192.168.10 okay in between we got some message okay don't worry just press tab button from the keyboard so network 192.168.10.8 0 0.0.0.0.0 area 0 so we configured all three networks now we will uh, configure the passive interface so here we can see uh, lan interface g0 slash 0 or even we can verify from here physically we can verify the interface which is connected to the lan so it's a g0 slash 0 End copy run space start. Next, we will go to R3. Enable configure terminal router OSPF 10 router ID 3.3.3.3. .3 .3 .3. Then we will let check the directly connected networks here. Do show IP root connected. And we can see all the directly connected network in this router. There are three networks. Network 192.168.1.0 0 0.0.0.255 area 0. The network 192.168.10.4 0 .0 0.0.0.3 area 0 and third one 192.168.10.8 0, .0, 0, 0 0.0.0.3 area okay so I got some message loading to full loading done 1.1.1.1 that is r1 router id okay so just i will press tab button so that we can resume our commands so here area 0 our third network exit okay now we will set the passive oh i should be in router osp of 10 so here i will give passive interface g0 slash 0 copy run space start great so just after the configuration of r1 r2 and r3 uh, we get 100 percentage now we will verify ospf routing on each router the routing table should now have a route to every network in the topology so we can verify from R1 show IP root. So here we can see all the six networks. There are three uh, remote networks. All those are added in the routing table using OSPF. We can see here O 1, 2, and 3, and three connected networks. Then coming to R2. show ip root we can see uh, three uh, remote network learned with the help of ospf and three connected networks and on r3 show ip root same way we can see three uh, route learned with the help of ospf and uh, three connected networks perfect 
Step 3 verify the configurations. Each PC should be able to ping the other two PCs. If not, check your configurations. So we will ping from PC1. So we can get the IP address from the addressing table. Ping PC2 IP address is 172.16.2.2. And we are waiting for the replies. Yeah, it works. Then we will ping to PC3. Ping 192.168.1.2. Okay, so it works here. We get the replies. Perfect. Here we configured OSPF V2 in single area. Friends, please subscribe, share and like our video. Stay connected. We will meet again with the next video. Thank you.